Lieutenant Dan, he came to fame after a video got out on TikTok. That's where he made it. Uh, he made it big time. Uh, and he said, and we can, we're going to watch a video later, yeah. uh, that God made him stand on that boat. and, and God did. Yeah, God did. And uh, let's go straight to the video so people can get some context. Like, okay. if, if you're not Gen Z or a TikToker, you probably... You don't know who the hell he is. You don't, you know, like, he's literally, like, the real-life uh, Lieutenant Dan. Okay. Um, he oh, looks really yeah. healthy. Yeah, he's missing a leg. Oh, so he looks <laughs> yeah. Lieutenant Dan. All right. All right, Dan. The people that are new, explain to them why you're deciding to stick out a Category 5, one of the worst hurricanes in Tampa history, out on a 20-foot sailboat in Tampa Harbor. Well, my faith in God, well, my faith in man. Um, God told me to come out here and get a boat. I came out here and got a boat. And everything that he's been telling me over the last two days is I'm doing the right thing. He's got my back. I'm in good shape, I ain't sweating it. Um, we're gonna ride this one out. We got set up the way we know what we're doing. And as long as the water just keeps rising, we'll be fine. Will you be wearing a life jacket? Hell no. <laughs> Are you going to be able to swim if it, if it need be? In circles. <laughs> can you swim with one leg or what? Yeah, I can float like a damn champ. But swimming, I just go in circles. So the plan is <laughs> just to stick it out here? Yeah. I mean, the water's going to come in. It's going to rise. If you're on land, it's going to flood. You're risking drowning. I'm in a boat. The boat goes up with the water. So even if the boat goes up 100 feet in the air, I'm going to be up 100 feet in the air with the water. So it's really the safest place in the world to be is on my boat, and I got room for one more female. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Give the people some words. This with guy there. is no joke. Um, it's no joke. Just, you know what to do. Just be safe. Um, don't do stupid shit, and we'll all be all right. We'll be here. You know, we'll be here tomorrow and the day after. Perfect, man. Let's go one day at a time. Oh, the Let's fact that he brought in God, maybe he's the reason that Milton didn't hit hard. Well, maybe, maybe. maybe. About like, I don't want to give any spoilers right now. Okay. Uh, but uh, you know, like, just go, just go to the next one. What's this? This is him again. Uh, this is him again, but this is a spoiler. I forgot to put this video first. Okay. Um, so the next one is the article where he, yeah, here it is. Okay. And uh, he survived. Yeah. He did he it. it. He, he did made it. it. He made it. So. You know, first of all, when the first video came out, uh, Tristan Tate got a wind of uh, the whole situation. No pun intended. No pun intended. Uh, he thought it was endearing, so he reposted it on his Twitter feed. And then more people started getting involved. One of them, I don't know if you guys saw the interview he did with President Trump. It was Aiden Ross. Yes. All right. The guy who just crashed his McLaren because no, he was texting. No, that's guy. not Aiden Ross. That's uh, that wasn't. That wasn't Jack. Oh. That's Jack Doherty. Yes, never yeah. mind. That I got, guy, I, I got my uh, Gen Z shit. Yeah, it's all good. Hey, by the way, I'm not mad at you. Good what a you, boomer. Know? What a uh, boomer. So Aiden Ross finds this guy and he goes like, well, with a stipe, I'm going to give you $100,000 if oh. you make it out alive and a new boat. And an, wait, and a new boat? or a And a new boat. Oh, wow. All right. So um, if we go to the next slide, you know. I mean, we love his speech and whatever, but... <laughs> like, you kind of like but, him right there. Especially, oh, he's being funny. He's talking about God. Yeah. He's talking about women. He's being engaging. He has you one know, leg. For for his gum, Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, it's like, funny. You know, and like, then... It's, it was a hack tour. Yeah, it was like, a hack tour more. He was, yeah, it's, he, he was, was a... a yeah. He, Lieutenant hack tour. Turns out, in terms of morals, this guy didn't have it turns a Turns out, in terms on. of the yeah. law, not even morals. Like, this is a... So, just pull it up. And, um... He's a criminal? He is a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Go uh, figure. This guy, Joseph Malowski, that's how you pronounce what it, Malowski, yeah. uh, he had over 14 arrests. Nice. And you know what they say? Like, if you got 14 mugshots, like, you've been doing shitty thing like, 100 times more. Oh, than what you oh come on, man. He heavily tattooed guys with one leg living on a boat are usually so clean and upstanding. Yeah, that guy's a wholesome guy. So, um, yeah, most of them, and, and this is still uh, up for debate, you know, people went all the way uh, to him being, you know, like uh, someone that is not very nice and you don't want around your children. Oh, okay. Uh, but that, that was debunked yesterday. That's the first report I heard. It was debunked because he's not a So he's, he's just a violent criminal. Yeah. You know, mo most of the crimes he committed. Well, he's a, so he's so a he's a pirate yeah. right yeah. now. But, he's yeah. a one-legged, he should put on a Jake, he should put on a patch <laughs> and be like, arg, me matey. Like, that's how I would have done the interview. He is a one-legged pilot. So yeah. this made uh, Aiden Roth uh, get, um, get get cold feet. 
And it, oh, uh, he, oh, wait, what do you mean by cold foot. feet? Like he didn't want to give him the money? No, because, you know, all these accusations, they come out. And then he, oh, was, he, back, he was back peddling the offer. Oh, like, first of all, nobody thought this guy was going to make it on the other I didn't side. think he was going to live. Yeah, I, I didn't gonna think die. he was going to live. You know, uh, actually, the Tampa mayor and, uh, you know, the weather guy that is famous on TikTok? Uh, J- Wait, which guy? Like the from the Weather Channel? Yeah, yeah, from the Weather or Channel. Jim, the guy Jim, that's Jim Cantor. W- yeah, that guy. He what did he do? Guy. They came out and told they, him. They went to the boat to try to convince him to, to not do this. You know why? Because if God forbid something happens to him, other people have to go try to help him. They could die. Well, that's what this guy Vinny said on the PVD podcast the other day. Nice. That, uh, the I know that ten, guy. Yeah, ten guys will die trying to rescue this guy. Nice, that idiot. Is, you know, like everyone at home, you know, this is very reckless. You know, because yeah. you, you can't kill people that are trying to help you. Very true. I mean, where else was he gonna go though? Is there other questions? Is there like a shelter for? He can only hop away so far. Yeah, so they can't fast. go that far. Who's gonna take him in? I don't know. Adam Sosnick. Yeah, from Miami. Yeah, he can take him in. So this is a reaction after Aiden Ross got cold feet on the offer. Uh, roll the tape. About Aiden Ross telling you, you he not getting you a boat no more. He came to me. I never went to him. He offered it to me. I never asked for it. So then he turned around and he started thinking about my history. Well, you should have did that before you made the offer. You know, if you're worried about your the image and who you had working for you, you should have done due diligence and looked me up before you made me an offer of $100,000 sign-on bonus, $50,000 a month with a $100,000 boat. And I'm going to let you go because I don't care about that. Well, I'm gonna tell you he this. took the I money away too. Huh? He took the hundred k. Took that, as far as I know, everything. Oh wow! You know, Catch up on the thing. I mean, I didn't ask you for it. You offered it. I agreed to do what you asked me to do. You you asked me to to uh, be on kick a hundred hours a month. I agreed. I said no problem. I'll do it. I'm down for that. So all right, all right. got the point. That's what it is. And then Aiden Ross. Who probably like he thought about this to write this uh this beautiful you know uh, cloud chasing trend mm. uh, commented on it and uh, we can see it we can hear it from himself okay uh, about it everything I actually messaged Terrence I'm gonna show you guys the text at 4 a.m. last night after I ended stream look what I said look what I said hey bro do you, did he, did he see a boat he likes look. Hey, bro, did you see a boat he likes? That's after I ended stream last night. So Dan is getting his boat and he's getting everything. So then you got people coming up to him in person saying, Aiden Ross, cancel your shit. What do you feel about it? Leave that man alone. I'm working myself out with him. We are going to make sure he gets the boat and the money and, the, and, the, and everything. And all you people that are saying don't pay him, everyone's got a fucking past. And I don't want people to say, because I already thought about what I'm going to say about this. People are say, oh, now you're just paying because of the backlash. I DM this guy at 4 in the morning before the backlash surfaced the internet. Okay, so he's not, he's, so it's just that whoever went up to him in the street is full of crap. Yeah, he's full of They're shit. They're trying to call his job. Oh, he ain't going to pay you now. All so right. My, my main takeaway from this is that the internet sucks and we should stop m- interacting with people in real life that we see on the I internet. want, and you know, you know what I took away from this? I can't wait to see the boat. I can't wait to see, because now you know he's going to get girls. You know, I'll listen, because you know girls are, oh, my God, you have a boat? He's going to be like, I don't you have a bottom, like a, like a prosthetic leg or something first. He's going to turn into Lieutenant Dandel Sarian. <laughs> 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 All right, that's why you did the segment so for the joke. That's it. It's over. Fun. We're done. <laughs> By the way, I think you thought of the joke first, and yeah. then you went, that's the story I'm going to do. Yeah, I want to go into four-hour research free. Oh, my God, that's so freaking fun. But I kind of like Brandon and Rob not being here. Look at the shot that we have. Yeah, I know. There's it's three beautiful. of us. We got Jake, wow. we got Ruby. We don't need well, Look at what we can accomplish when it's just us. With, yeah, with, with no, guys. With, with no hey. libertarian porn enthusiasts. Yeah, just some the porn loving. No, I'm joking. But that was, <laughs> dude, that's, that is, I, can, now, I cannot wait to see this boat. Because like, well, how long is it going to take? To, like, I would get the boat I, I sooner or ne- later. I never bought Well, 100 grand is not a, I mean, it's not, a that's a good money. That's, that's going to be a, he's going to be, bro, he's going to be around here. Because like, you know, all the, I'm going to see, I guarantee you I'm going to see him on a boat. We, we should drive up to Tampa. Yeah. We should go see this guy. See if we can get him on the unusual suspects. But th- Dude, this yeah, is, this would, really be very shows unusual. how insane the internet gets sometimes. Where like you take these these regular people who aren't like trying to get famous, then make them famous, and then suddenly there's their tragic downfall and everybody hates them again. The best example of this, do you remember 2016 election? There was a town hall event with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Oh uh, yes. And. One of the guys who stands up to ask a couple questions 
a man with thinning hair and a red sweater named Ken Bone. Ah. He, you know, concluded the whole event by asking them, hey, would you say something nice about your your opponent? And it was like, oh, this was such a charming human moment. Of He's asking them to be nice or, you know, pay each other a compliment. And he was wearing a sweater that he said his mom made. And he's just a regular guy. And then they made a meme out of him for two weeks. And then somebody dug back through his old Facebook posts, found he said something mean about Trayvon Martin. And like, we hate Ken Bone now. <laughs> Ken Bone can go die. Yeah. And like suddenly everything he got was taken away in a heartbeat. Like. Guy was never asking to get famous. He didn't want it. They raised up a normal person as some kind of crazy, weird meme for a couple weeks. Then they got bored with him and got rid of him. Same thing with Lieutenant well, Dan. Well, Connor, the internet giveth and the internet yes. taketh away. So you always seem to be good with like chat. Thank you guys for supporting us. Yeah, you guys are the best. Yeah. Speaking of the chat, guys, if you have if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please uh, take the second, just really fast, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the freaking uh, notification, let you guys know when we're on.